Hello, fairy friends. Welcome to a special edition episode of the Winks Forever podcast. I am your host, Lola Valentine. Today, we have a very special episode cooked up in our cauldron because we are celebrating the 19th anniversary of the American release date of Winx Club. That's right, season one, episode one, aired on June 19th, 2004, on what was known at the time as the Fox Box. It was a Saturday morning cartoon block that captivated young viewers across America, including little Lola. So I'm sure you're wondering, Lola, what do you have in store for us today? Well, I'm so glad you asked because I have invited some of the biggest four kids Winx Club stands I know to help me celebrate with a very fun game that we're calling Winx Say What? <laughs> I'm so sorry, that is so cringe. But um, we are going to be doing a Winx Club for Kids quote draft. So let me introduce you to our panel of contestants, starting with um, our friend Nia. Hi everyone, I'm Nia Brasso DeFaro. You might also know me as the Royal Gay Mess on Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. And I've been in the Wings Club fandom since I was a little child of the age of six, and I'm now 22. <laughs> and um, I ironically have not stopped watching the show, and it's always on my brain. It's like the brain rot, but like a good brain rot. <laughs> and I just think about it, obviously, all the time. And still frequently, because some of the actors still go to conventions, and I have to bring it up because I am that person. <laughs> And they're like, dear God, I don't remember doing this. So, um, yeah. And I'm so happy to be here to talk about the best. Um, sorry, <laughs> I had a bad cough. Um, the best of a Blink's Palm because it's quality. Totally awesome. <laughs> All right. And we've also got Dane with us. Hi, I'm Dane, also known as Just Dane Dane on TikTok. I grew up watching the Winx Club like since I was like five years old. So I'm 25 now. So like it's it's been a long time. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just something that's always been there. I've always been a fan. And I sometimes make like Winx content on TikTok. Um, I haven't made much recently, but I've been thinking about like getting back into it and doing some deep dives. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. And then we've also got Joshua of the Winx Chronicles. Josh, hi. Hello, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to torment your ears once again, hopefully this time with better audio. Um, <laughs> I'm Josh, also known as Winx Chronicles, as Lola said. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to be here and play the game and talk about the most iconic, most unhinged, <laughs> just the most incredible dub of Winx Club that we ever got. Um, the original Italian dub is shaking. Um, it's literally running away, screaming and crying <laughs> right now in a room. So I'm really excited. <laughs> oh, amazing. And new to the podcast, we have Natalia making her Winx Forever debut. Natalia, welcome to the show. Hello, 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 everyone. Um, I'm Natalia um, on Instagram. And I am Nat underscore Y underscore Pena. I don't do any Winx content. I did once with a friend of mine. Um, but I haven't done anything since. Um, I am so excited to be here. This is like the best dub ever. Lola and I talk all the time about like the superiority of this dub, <laughs> specifically Lisa Ortiz's actual oh. sexual awakening right there. <laughs> oh, we, <laughs> happy Pride Month to us. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have absolutely no idea as to when I started watching this show. I do remember watching it live, watching the season three, episode 16 live, The Power Within, the one where oh. Bloom is on that island and she's trying to yes. get her enchantix. And it's the island beginning and she's like huffing and puffing and running away from this volcano. And my mom's in the background. She's like, what the hell are you watching? <laughs> so that is the only memory that I have of me watching it live. But I do I remember know. watching every single second of this sh show and having this dub specifically just ingrained into my brain forever. Oh, thank you. We love it. We love it. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for being here today. As I mentioned, this is a draft picking game. So um, one by one, we are going to pick our favorite Winx Club for kids quotes um, and draft them in a top five list. Um, 
So definitely draft your favorite first so that you get it locked in so that it doesn't get stolen. Because once a quote is drafted in someone's draft, it cannot be drafted in other lists. So um, we are going to do a um, snaking order. So we'll all pick a number between one and five or between one and 10, we'll do one and 10. Um, and we'll ask Siri to pick a number and then whoever is the closest to that number uh, will be first. And then we'll go in the order of um, which my screen is. So it's Dane, me, um, Natalia, Josh, Nia. So um, whoever is the last in that sequence will go first in the next round, if that makes sense. Dane, give me a number between one and 10. Five. Okay. Uh, Natalia. Um, three. Josh. Two. <laughs> that sounds like a pattern. Eight. Nice. Right. <laughs> and then I'll pick ah, six. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Siri, give us a number between one and ten. The answer is two. Okay. Who had two? Was that Josh? All right. Yeah. All right. All right, Josh. What we got? What's your number one pick? I feel like it's so obvious i feel like i couldn't really pick another <laughs> quote stop, <laughs> stop right now. Uh, at this spot because i just couldn't choose anything else i tried to think it's so predictable and like you're gonna be so basic and it's just gonna be like like everyone's just gonna hate you for it but electric booty kick oh. is the best quote <laughs> in the entire dub and you can't you just can't fight me on it. It's just the truth. Anything with the booty. It's like, it yeah. so much. Anything with the booty. Electric booty kick and the way it's animated and the way it's in the scene and it's also serious yeah. and it's just electric booty kick in the middle of the scene is the most impeccable, incredible representation of the Winx Club for Kids dub I could possibly pick. So I'm so glad I got to go first to take that one away from all of you because I got the best one, very clearly. <laughs> Turn now. <sighs> Electric booty kick. <laughs> All right. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> laughing tears. So I have to, yeah, I have to um, take one off of mine. <laughs> <laughs> very strong start. All right. Very strong start. All right. Who we got next? All right. So Nia's next. Ooh, it's me. Um, I have to, I have to pick. Uh I have to pick my girl Darcy of hot. Have it, um, <laughs> Sorry. RHK, my one of my favorite arcs. I have to be a whore. I have to be a hoe. I can't say that. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, haven't you heard Riven, which is make really bad girlfriends? <gasps> That's a great one. You should have stuck with dating Pixie. Haven't you heard, Riven? Witches make really bad girlfriends. Come on. That whole God. arc was so good. Oh, tell Lola that. Tell, yeah, exactly. Huh? Excuse exactly. me. <laughs> listen, listen. It just felt like in the rewatch on the podcast, it just kept going on and on. And it was on. a little long. It was a little it was long. So long. I feel like Maybe it just like started eight. too soon. Yeah. yeah. It just started yeah. too soon. That's what it was. Yeah. It's like their they're like march to, you know, the end of the world was just like, like 10 freaking episodes long and it's just like are we there yet are we are not we there yet? yet how are we not there yet <laughs> like and they no only wonder took over like one realm in that time <laughs> <laughs> i know like, we're gonna take travel. over all the eight rounds I'm like are you are you <laughs> are you it's like girl you're struggling with like red fountain like come on <laughs> really <laughs> oh all right <clears throat> okay so great great pick great pick nia now we've got dane up on on the clock <laughs> okay so i'm gonna switch it up and i'm gonna do a well I, actually i want to do this one first but um so it's a chilly like how do i explain it like it's like a tear inducing quote that like i remember so vividly God. so i had to put it as number one um it's in attack of the zombie witches it's uh, when Musa goes, no, never, I'm not leaving you, like oh. saving Galatea. And then instantly earns her enchantix and she's like so surprised by it. But like the four kids dub for this quote, like lives in my head rent free because I remember being a kid watching it on the screen and just being like so taken back. Like I had chills, like I was just bawling on a saturday at 8 a.m like <laughs> right emotional trauma yes. yeah so 
Um, but yeah, so that I took that quote we... because it just like, I don't know, it's just such a Pain. good scene. And it reminded me of like the magic of Winx and like mm. evoking emotion in the viewer like so vividly. Mm. So It's just too hot. <gasps> Go save yourself. No, never. I'm not <gasps> leaving you. What's happening? I love that. Ah! I love that so much. Okay, so I'm next on the clock. Um, <clears throat> I had to. I had to. <laughs> I couldn't not um, start off with Bloom telling off Riven in season one, episode eight in the four kids dub <laughs> with you're totally conceited, totally cocky, totally boring, a waste of good oxygen. <laughs> Excuse me? Bloom, you did not have to bury that man. He is in a casket. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally, that's a RuPaul's Drag Race read. Like, you would get that up there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I still can't figure out why Muse has got a crush on you. You're totally conceited, totally cocky, totally boring waste of good oxygen. I'm sorry, but guys like you give guys a bad name, Riven. I'm super glad that no one had picked that one yet. So yay. Yay me. <laughs> it's just that like comparatively like to the Cineloom dub, rewatching both of them side by side, like I'm just like, it doesn't compare. Like Bloom popped off in this scene. Like little cinnamon roll Cineloom Bloom could never. <laughs> She could never. What did she so, even say in that? Like I've li I don't remember because she called him a windbag. <laughs> like, oh. ooh, get him, girl. Weren't weren't yeah. like wow, yeah. that really <laughs> did not compare at <laughs> all. Like the like in in the Cinelum dub, <laughs> the looks that like Brandon, Sky, and Stella exchange is like embarrassment for Bloom. Not like you know what I mean. <laughs> not like ooh, not like, like Bloom. why did you read this man for Phil? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so oh my god, so funny. All right, so now we have Natalia, which means Natalia, since you're last, now you'll be first next round. Okay. Um, so my first one, obviously, I have to do one for Lisa Ortiz, my girl. Um, I have absolutely no idea why, but this quote has lived rent free in my head for decades. <laughs> do you, I don't know. I don't think you're going to get this one. It is the most obscure thing in the whole freaking world, which is season three, episode one. Her, the first line that she says after she escapes from that little ice thing, which is, try to freeze my heart. Don't they know my heart's so cold, nothing can freeze it? Idiots. Yes. Yes. And that was my Lisa Ortiz impression, impression. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is it. Thank oh, you. it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> I love how you think that's obscure for us. That's a good I'm, one, though. Yeah. Like, I remember that one, too. Yeah, like... it's like... <laughs> my favorite is the idiots at the end like it's just it's perfect it's oh, perfect my new text tone when <laughs> <laughs> idiots <laughs> just that one Us every time Rainbow not the whole ball. line just you can film me any damn day <laughs> <laughs> try to freeze my heart don't they know my heart's already so cold nothing can freeze it idiots <laughs> Oh my god all right natalia you're back up on the board for your second pick so what's it gonna be Ooh. um this is like a super peak techno line <gasps> season one episode the two techno line. the techno line which is i think it's pretty similar to what they have in rye um mm -hmm. which is she's absolutely tackling at bloom's phone this <laughs> cell phone is teaching technology longs in a system you just oh. met this girl on your art. Is she poor? Is she from a different dimension? Just came for her for no reason. Like, girl. She belongs in a museum? You met her two hours ago. <laughs> I love taking these things apart. <laughs> Yo, what's so funny, Techna? This cell phone is ancient technology. It belongs in a museum. But it's the latest technology. It belongs behind glass. That's what she said. Oh, oh rude, rude. Tech. <laughs> oh, we love our girl tech. <laughs> Me too. All right, good one. Um, all right, I guess that means I'm next. Um, so to no surprise to anyone, um, I have a lot of Stella quotes on my list. <laughs> okay. Because Ooh. why wouldn't I? 
I wanted to say something about that. Go ahead. <laughs> so this quote comes from season one, episode 11, where, and it's literally the opening line in the four kids dub. <laughs> It's when Flora, it's when Stella goes, Flora, why don't you take your hippy dippy research and go save a different planet? Girl, <laughs> she's not even spelled in this episode. <laughs> Flora, why don't you take your hippy dippy research and go save a different planet? That's not nice. Hey, come on, guys, stop fighting. I was going to say, <laughs> one off the board, man. Woo! Amen. I know. I was. I was going to say Stella, spelled or not, she will just say the most out of pocket crap. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they wrote some incredible stuff for Stella. She oh, incredible. Yeah. So great. <laughs> so yeah, just hippie to be research. That's. I mean, like to this day, I just still remember like that watching that as a kid and being like, oh my god. <laughs> like Stella is not happy with Laura right now, and like I mean, yeah. However you feel about Stella, like, you can't deny that, yeah, poor kid Stella yeah. is the best. <laughs> yes. You know, there's, like, all of those jokes about, like, the gay intern and, like, all of those companies. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. like it was definitely, like, that sort of vibe. Like, say that. And that's just, like, they just kept adding it in. <laughs> the gay intern kept writing Stella's lines. <laughs> <laughs> and no one stopped them. They're like, yeah, you're going. You're doing it. You're like, doing great. great. And sense, they kept going like... to see if it was, like, more out of pocket what they could push. Yeah. And they just, like, nobody <laughs> yeah. No one said a thing. Pushing yeah. the envelope. <laughs> How'd you say that? Oh it's, just <laughs> it's just winks. It's just winks. It's just winks. Oh, incredible. All right. That means that Dane is next up for his uh, round two pick. Ooh, I have an icy quote. It's from <gasps> Save the First Dance, uh, season one, episode three. And it's don't even start your witching Darcy. So I picked this quote because when I was watching it back, I was just like, wait a second, hold up. Like I had to pause. Cause like <laughs> the fairy swears in this show are so good. Like it adds to the like world, it adds to the universe and like the way everything works in the magical dimension. And I just thought it was like really clever, classic for kids dialogue. No, we'd be walking. These heels pinch my feet. Uh-uh, don't even start your witching, Darcy. Once we get that ring, we'll so rule. We'll take chariots everywhere. Oh, That's yeah. Why I picked that one. They can't two. cuss, but they can cuss in their own colloquial, like... Yeah. Totally. I love it. We it's watch. so good. <laughs> we watch. Like, we watch. We watch, when Musa, yeah. When Musa sees Darcy with Riven and goes, oh, that witch. witch. The, the, the <laughs> venom she says witch <sighs> with. The hard just double. like... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Good pick, Dane. Oh, Thank all right. You. So Thank we you. are back to Nia. I did this one in. Uh, oh, no. Actually, I'm going to do a Stella one. I'm going to follow the vibe. So I feel like no one's going to take my other quote. And if somebody does, you have good taste. Um, <laughs> I can't be mad at this. Um, my one uh, season one, episode 15, Push the Envelope, is. Stop! There's a danger sign on that door! <laughs> and I do that frequently. We're with you, Bloom, but when are you gonna clue us in as to what we're Stop. gonna be- There's a danger sign on that door! <sighs> oh, dear. That sign means kitchen. Oh. Which, like, growing up, I never, like, I never knew what she meant by that, but, like, it was literally, like, there was a little, like, X. Like, like with the kitchen utensils with on the, the door. Utensils. Yeah, and I was like, oh my god, that's so clever. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go through so stella and i'm like <laughs> like girl is like you know like nervous out her mind you know in that episode anyway and she's like oh my god wait no guys like she can't even like decipher like <laughs> that no that that means kitchen <laughs> oh, i love it i love it so much good pick good pick um all right so we're back to josh me okay this is my only serious quote and i just had to get it up because i think i typed it wrong so the quote is from i think season two mm -hmm. and farragonda is talking to the girls about what she thinks lord darker is and this <gasps> quote lives in my mind and it's actually one of the biggest quotes that inspired the winx chronicles because it stays in there <laughs> so it is 
It's always been there, buried in the heart of the Underrealm, in the kingdom of Shadowhaunt. That horrible place may be made of rock and stone, but it is very much alive. The shadow fire flows through its hold, waiting for someone foolish enough to come down there, seeking its power. So where did the shadow fire come from? It's always been there, buried in the heart of the Underrealm, in the kingdom of Shadowhaunt. That horrible place may be made of rock and stone, but it is very much alive. The shadow fire flows through its halls, waiting for someone foolish enough to come down there, seeking its power. Oh, oh, that is lore! Oh, so good. Faragonda literally said, we must make it dramatic. We, they have to know. Rachel Lillo said, I'm getting my check today. Yeah. <laughs> and that is why Lord Darkbar should have... Like, there's just something, so he, he just feels... You know? Mm-hmm. 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 Bad. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. <laughs> He's like a god oh, of the universe, I, I guess. Truly, truly. Oh, I love it. All right. So, Josh, that means that you are back up on the clock for round three. So, what is your round three pick? Okay. My round three pick is also from, I think it's episode 15, the one with the nightmare monster. Um, yes. Is that episode 15 of season one? And it's right at the beginning where they're talking about the film and Stella just says, and my parents are still separated. Yeah. Nothing brings a family back together like having to fight an evil demon and an army of zombies, escape a few explosions, and survive a massive tidal wave. And yet my parents are still separated. <laughs> and then she just laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> my girl just coming in with the dark humor. <laughs> uh, As someone with recently separated parents, Stella! <laughs> <laughs> you too. And I would just slay. Yeah. We love using humor as a coping. Yeah. Listen, Always. Listen, Absolutely. Listen. That's how definitely. I got the, my parents divorced. Definitely the gay intern strikes again with that line, is all I have to say. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I love it. Unhinged Stella coming coming through. <laughs> always all right so Nia that means you're back up on the clock so what is your um third round pick this is part of um it's a giant quote but I'm gonna shorten it down because I had to shorten it for Erica Schroeder to write it on my pride flag back in November when I met her so and I did tell her about the Galatea scene because I literally was like hey queen we're gonna go cry together this is Daphne from 125 oh god what's the episode called the great witch invasion so and she says we are the sum of all of our experiences the friends we make the people we love all the things that make us who we are we are the sum of all our experiences the friends we make the people we love all of these things make us who we are (laughs) oh i love it i love daphne well you know when she was like before she became corporeal (laughs) Oh, Are you corporeal Daphne? <laughs> Top tier Daphne. <laughs> like, we need that Daphne. Best Daphne. But I literally no. need to post this scene because every time, like, I don't know, every time I do a rewatch and it, like, shuffles to this episode, it just pulls on my heartstrings and just makes me, like, a literal crying mess because, mm-hmm. like, he's realizing that, like, Bloom has purpose and, like, everything makes her her and just, I don't know. That really, like, makes me feel whole as a person. I don't know. Yeah. So. I think it's really applicable to like, I mean, a lot of people can feel the way that Bloom felt in season one in that in that arc, you know, of her like yeah. losing every sense of identity that she thought she had, um, and like nothing like you know her her dead sister that sacrificed herself for her, which like That's the important part, <laughs> the sacrifice. <laughs> Emphasize that, please. All right, so Neo went. So now it's Dane. Dane, what is your third round pick? Ooh, my third round pick is going to be during class with Professor Wizgiz and Date with Disaster. <gasps> oh. Okay, so Ooh. there is a scene in the Four Kids version where there's like a student panicking because she can't like undo her like trans morph. What's the name for it? It's like a big word, like trans transfiguration. Yeah, something like that. She had like a spell on her head and she had like this giant pumpkin head and she couldn't undo it and she's like panicking yes. and he's all calm and collected about this and meanwhile this girl's like freaking out like oh my gosh i'm stuck as a pumpkin and so he pulls a mouse out of his pocket and this thing just roars at this student <laughs> and i'm just like thinking to myself okay so if that's what's gonna fix this 
Like, okay, but like he puts it back in his pocket, but right before he does that, the mouse, the mouse is in his hand and he goes, we'll find the antidote one day, grandpa, I promise. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, like what? Like that's your grandpa? Your grandfather is a substitute teacher. <laughs> Was he? You need a good scare. Let's see. Uh, here we go. We'll find the anecdote one day, Grandpa. I promise. Thanks, Wizzy. Right? I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then he puts him back in his pocket, and I'm just, I, I think we never see him again. Like, I think that's <laughs> it. Like, but the mouse says, thanks, Wizzy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So out of pocket, and he lives in my pocket. It's, yeah, it's so out of pocket, like literally. <laughs> like, I was just like so taken back by that one. Except that it was so funny. And in comparison to the Cinelum version too, like- Oh, what is it? It's like, oh, like, thanks, Phil. And then the, yeah, and then he goes away. Boo, like, no more Boo. for that. yeah. This is so lame, <laughs> but like, grandpa? Like, that's your- He said, we have the lore for you. It we won't have that, but we have it. <laughs> yeah, but that's my, that's my pick number three, so. Oh my God, it's giving, um, like, who was in Harry Potter, like Ron's familiar, like the rat, you know, the rat, the rat. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. gross, gross. <laughs> so I guess that means I am next. Again, we got a Stella quote. No one's surprised. Um, I actually, I actually am a little surprised because I didn't think that I would have this many Stella quotes. I thought it'd be more diverse than this. Oh, well. Um, it is from season two, episode one, where uh, the girls are all waiting for Bloom to arrive uh, for the party. And she goes, I have a theory that beauty enhances beauty. If I'm surrounded by the four of you, I'll look four times as beautiful. Where is Bloom? I want us all to be together when the boys arrive. I have a theory that beauty enhances beauty. If I'm surrounded by the four of you, I'll look four times as beautiful. She'll ruin it all! Don't worry, Stella. You look good. I love that. I love it because, I mean, Stella is a girl's girl. She is a girl for the girls. Like, and the guys, but the girls. Like, she... I love her. I love her, like, always looking out for, like, her besties and also, you know, a little bit herself. But, like, her, like, giving them a compliment while also giving herself a compliment. Prime Stella. I love it. <laughs> so cute all right so i guess that means that natalia you are up next which means you'll also have the first pick in round four yes i just want to clarify the rules because i can't remember yes if the episode is already chosen so, episode okay. is, doesn't matter as long as okay. it's not the same as long line. as not the same. Oh, I, I think we'd <laughs> half of us would be out yeah. <laughs> yeah, great <laughs> So I don't know about if you guys don't know me, but Lola does. And she and I are both absolute like number one major fans of the episode Spell, season one, episode nine. Um, Rewatch that episode, absolutely killer. Um, it they're they're just, I don't know why. It's a pretty like seemingly insignificant episode. Um, because, you know, outside of like the Darcy Riven thing. The spell thing just happens for the episode, but whatever. Um, I this episode is just it's so special to me. I don't know why. But anyway, I'm I'm my line is I like this line because of the possibility of it, and then it gets completely um irrefuted later on in the next mm. season. Um <laughs> also so I see, of course. Which is, you're not in the harmonic realm now, little princess. And your daddy and his hip-hop palace guards aren't here to protect you. You don't want to get into it with me, witch! You're not in the harmonic realm now, little princess. And your daddy and his hip-hop palace guards aren't here to protect you. I love it because of the possibility of Musa being a princess. And then she's just some girl from the harmonic realm. It just completely irreverses everything. And I love the possibility of it, and then it never falls through. I'm, That's I'm, fair. I, I just want to bring up a point. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I'm sorry, but I never get to say it in in um. I think um, one o one o seven 107 when like get they get the, back from Cloud Tower and they get uh, punished. So like when they do the soap sud scene and then Misa's like, "You're not the only princess here." Like I don't. I think they were supposed to be talking about her, but like I know they're talking about Bloom and like nobody yeah. knows. Yeah, yeah. But, it's good foreshadowing on the part of Bloom. But they never do anything to cement Musa. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, like, in the comics or, like, whatever printed books they made of oh, the yeah. it says, like, Princess of the Harmonic Nail Beal or something. Yeah. Like. Yeah. yeah, there was and a lot also of with that. Tecna. Oh, God, like, the... Yeah, <gasps> Tecna oh. and Flora, Tecna, like, every... Yeah, yeah all of oh. them were royalty except for Bloom, and then, yeah. surprise, Bloom is actually royalty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that... that Flora princess? Really funny. Yeah, Flora yeah. was the princess of... Of, of uh, Lynn Taya. The... Well, the, f- the, the fifth, fifth moon of Marigold. Marigold. Oh, yeah. ew! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was only that was only season one advertising, though. It wasn't. It wasn't. Okay, that's why I don't else. remember it. Yeah, wild time. All right. Mm-hmm. So that means Natalia, you've got the first round pick for round four. So okay. what's it going to be? Okay. Um. Okay. I'm gonna need to ask you guys a question. Do we want spelled again, or do we want a technoline? Ooh, technoline! Snap! Snap! Techna what? Nice one, Ted. Thanks. <laughs> That's it. Snap. <laughs> Something very season, techno about that. that the, yeah. Season that three, season episode three, one. Episode, yeah. I yes, was say, yes. I remember that. <laughs> oh nap, my god. Nap. Nice one, Tech. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Her best life. It's even, it's even funnier when um later on in that season when she literally sacrifices herself for Layla's kingdom and then they're all crying about it and she's like and she always told the, so many jokes and then one of them goes I wish I would have laughed more. <laughs> oh, my Imagine God. that being at your funeral. That's just what they say. I wish I would have laughed at her jokes more. <laughs> that, honestly, that probably will be what said at mine. <laughs> oh, God. I'm joking. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm crying. So, back to me for round four. Um, This is another just absolute, like, shade on Riven. But I love it. I'm here we for it. it. It's, again, a Stella quote. Mm, shocker. Um, Season one, episode four. <laughs> When Stella goes, if Riven wants to get eaten, I say bon appetit, <laughs> right? <laughs> and Flora's like, well, no, that's not actually exactly what, what I, I said. said. Flora's right, Bloom. If Riven wants to get eaten, I say bon appetit, right? That's not quite what I said. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just, I love that. It's so savage. It's, so <laughs> she's just. She's just out here coming for Riven, like rightfully so. Riven, you know, is kind of a dick, but mm. like that. That's Riven. That line, that's Rip. That's Riven. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that we love it. And also the swamp episode, such a good episode. Ooh, like yeah. everyone thinks it's filler, but it's not. It introduces it's a really- lot of important things to the season. I just love it so much. I agree. Season one Stella was so unhinged. Like, oh, yeah. there's something yeah. about season one Stella. They reined her in every season. That gay intern was writing everything for her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Amazing. All right, Dane, you are up for round four. What's it going to be? Ooh, I was going to do a spelled quote, actually. Um, it's in yeah. the midst of the battle between, like, the senior witches in Fairy yes. Dramatic City. And Bloom is like facing off with Stormy and like tries to stop, or Stormy tries to stop Bloom from like going and helping Musa. And she's like, oh, you can't help your friend. Like she's finished. And then Bloom says, no, she isn't. Get out of my way and like manifest the dragon fire. fire. Mm -hmm. And just Mm -hmm. like, I remember being a kid and seeing the promo for that episode, like for the next week. Wow. And they used that line and I oh my gosh, it just like lived in my head ever since. Like it, it's it's so good. Move! You can't help your friend. She's finished. No, she isn't. Get out of my way! I see. Check your crystal. <gasps> that's when that's when she goes Super Saiyan. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> she Super Saiyan Bloom is my favorite bloom. <laughs> and then lights up the crystals, of course. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like um, one of my top quotes. I love it. Ah, that is such a good one. Ugh, were the, great. This is more of a continuity question. Were the what were the crystals called in in the Cinelube? Were they they were called vacuums? Vacuums. Yeah. Uh, 
They were called Campbell. like Wisperia or something. Yeah, in, yeah. Uh, Wisperia. Amazing. Crystals, yeah. So beautiful. So elegant. Way better. Vacuum. Great. Vacuum. <laughs> Disgusting. Immediately no. Immediately no. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So Nia, Nia, you're up next. <laughs> I I have to pick the one. We always. I don't know Lola and I. I think we talk about this frequently. The one. Where I have Saladin quote because I oh, am a pig. No. I, oh yes, I know I have to do it. No one made it this far. I have to. <laughs> oh, this little man, my favorite man, of one twenty spark of sparks of hope. He says, "Everyone who survives passes the semester." For honor and the glory of Red Mountain. That felt cool. Everyone who survives passes the semester. <laughs> That is terrifying. I'm just assuming he thought people would die. And, like, I understand it's a kid's show. I just want to know if anyone actually did die. I mean, statistically speaking, people had to have died. Yes. Right? Imagine, hi, um, you know, your your son Johnny? Yeah, like, he didn't make it. He He didn't didn't pass. He stopped graduating. (laughs) Yeah, he just got stepped on by this giant rock guy (laughs) with no head. Oh, he got picked up by a giant flying stingray of rot. Disgusting. (laughs) The rot monster. Oh, (laughs) no, we hate it. I hate it. The sound effects are the worst. So disgusting. I actually, okay, I actually was, I had to rewatch a few of these before picking them Uh for this Uh research. And I did notice the sound effects I never do. And I was just like, where did they get this from? (laughs) <laughs> the cinematic foley team just like doing all sorts of things sponges like who knows yeah, yeah. it was just yeah. like very very squishy wet yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry <laughs> i had to it's gonna do it no i'm not you are brave enough oh unhinged i love it <laughs> all right uh josh you are up for the last pick of round four and then you will be first for round five so what's it gonna be i'm i'm looking at some quotes here and i'm like they're all very good but i feel like i have to pick one from brandon because we i don't think we've had him yet have we i don't i can't remember wait and brandon with blonde hair or brown hair which brandon brown hair black brandon. Brandon, brandon brown hair, brown hair the, brandon. Real brown hair brandon. the real one the real the brandon. Real yeah. one the real one real non-imposter brandon <laughs> Good old Greg Abbey. Because <laughs> in the For Kids stuff, they kind of portray it as like some frat guy. Yeah. I guess. I guess that's the stereotype. And it's during an episode in season two, and I think Bloom and Sky are having an argument. And then <laughs> you just hear in the back of the phone call when she hangs up on him, don't worry, dude, she's probably just out with some other guy. <laughs> 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 hasn't answered her phone all night and we had a phone date scheduled three hours ago don't worry dude she's probably just out with some other guy this isn't jealousy here i don't get jealous i'm just worried something bad could have happened oh. <laughs> and i was yeah, like now i wish i had this one line with me oh my god <laughs> i love it when sky gets humbled what can i say <laughs> like brandon will do. forever be my fave <laughs> <laughs> it's just his face after i was like that's such a good quote and he said it so like casually too. Like yeah, it sounded like just off the yeah. cuff. <laughs> <I'll say. laughs> oh, so so funny. So good. Said it like it was good <laughs> advice. Like yeah. I mean, I guess it's also funny because he kind of was like crushing on Saladin. Was it not Saladin? Oh my god, not Saladin! Oh not Saladin! God. Oh my god! <laughs> but he was crushing on Avalon at the time. <laughs> We have that on audio. Okay. Proof to the FBI. (laughs) Proof that it exists. You're not editing that out. So funny. Anyway, it's my number four pick. (laughs) And last but not least. (laughs) And last but not least, um, I present to you, if I'd have known you'd be here, I would have reviewed chapter eight, Fungus Removal Spells. Ooh. (laughs) No, you'd be here. I would have reviewed chapter eight. Fungus removal spells. Get out of my test. That's a burn. That is a burn. <laughs> that is a good one. This whole dove are just absolutely superior. The spells, please. So good. Ah. Oh my god. All right, Nia. That means it's time. What's your final 
My final pick. is one of my iconic diaspora lines, which, because oh. she's an underrated queen. She, yes. And I told Veronica Taylor this when I met her because she was like, I don't No, She remembered being in it, but like nobody asked her to talk about like the lines and stuff. Oh. And and we were talking. And so it's from 214 Wrong Writers, the Wrong Writers. And I never do. I never I do rewatch season two, but I didn't grow up with season two. It was a whole thing. But um, head to toe denim is cheesy. People are going hungry because you're making them spend all their money on outfits. You're sending people into exile for wearing more than one type of denim. Head to toe denim is cheesy. We are going to turn you into a good person. <laughs> and like when they were talking to her about like the laws she made and how everyone's like poor. Yes, <laughs> literally. I love her. She's so the random. context is everything. Like she was literally making laws out here for her citizens to not wear certain things. <laughs> and head to toe They're denim was one of her. <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh, You're going God. to make textiles more affordable, madam? Right. Yeah. Did not. Oh my God. That's good. Wow. What a good, what a good pick, Nia. All right, Dane, you're up. What is your last round pick? Ooh, my last round quote is a dark art quote. Ooh. And it's now you'll have to talk to the hand because the face doesn't want to hear it. And he says this to Layla. Like right before he sends her off the cliff, like, like, and I just remember listening to that and being like, "This guy is evil, but like, evil, funny, evil. Like he's got like, he's, he's got like, like psychotic. a layer to him. Yeah, that dude with these just teens in their world. Like, <laughs> it's a child. He just threw someone's kid off a cliff. Like I'm thinking about it, and then he snatched all those pixies, yeah, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, trauma. That kind of attitude is no fun at all. No matter, now you'll have to talk to the hand. Cause the face don't want to hear it. But just the way they made him sound in the four kids dub was so good because he had like- It was this, menacing. Yeah, mm -hmm. menacing, but like funny, like sassy almost. Yes. But like still confident and like, oh, he was, he was really good though. Don't you love it when your villains are gay? <laughs> <laughs> right. We Jason so Griffin, find my villains. Flag. Let's get yeah. him to do it. <laughs> and I said it once, and I'll say it again. Happy Pride Month! <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've got uh, so many options for my fifth round pick, and I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, do spell. Them. <laughs> do it. Do you it. You deserve it. You haven't done it. Okay. No, I have. Wait. No, I haven't. Oh, you see? You're right. Okay, you're yeah, welcome. you're right. All right, here's my here's my here's my fifth round pick for for a spelled quote. Again, it's Stella. And she's over here humbling Bloom, and I love it. It's when she goes, Look at me, I'm the cute little girl from Earth. Look at me, I have powers. Look at me, I have no clue how to control them. <laughs> that is like, like so cute. That is absolute Sandra D. Stella keep interrupting me today maybe it's because i'm tired of you always stealing the stage it's always me 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 with you look at me i'm the cute little girl from earth look at me i have powers look at me i have no clue how to control them that's uh, not funny everyone has weird dreams who cares this is important stella yes important to you 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 oh it's so good it's so good like i mean everyone's thinking it Stella's the only one saying it. Yeah, she's spelled, but like, is she wrong? She's she's not wrong. <laughs> they We're really should it. just call it a truth a truth spell. Like, I mean, yeah. just say yeah. half the things she said. I think it's just you know, <laughs> oh, amazing, amazing. Yeah. So yeah, wow. My my one spelled quote. Look at me go. Um. All right, Natalia, hit us with it. What um, is your fifth round pick? Final final quote. Season three, episode one. Kimura and Stella, their first ever interaction. Possession is nine tenths of the law. Then I am repossessed. I ordered that pizza. Possession is nine tenths of the law. Then I'm repossessing it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Amazing. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> like, uh, wow. How do fighting we fighting over about pizza <laughs> to address? To a kingdom, to parents. Ooh, ooh. Actually, yeah, there are layers there, isn't there? 
I'm lying. Dang. <laughs> oh, amazing. Well, guys, how do we feel about our top five? Do we get the ones we wanted? Yeah. 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 Totally. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Love. I love that. Um, are there any good honorable mentions on your list? Your hair is oh. so frizzy. They called you Fristella. Yo, yes. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh. I like love is a four letter word. <gasps> that is a four letter like, word. <laughs> yes. <It's> like, <laughs> okay. I and... didn't know what that meant growing <laughs> up. I, I didn't either. Mom. I was like, what does that mean? She's like, oh, most cuss words are four letter words. And I was like, oh my God. I'm just finding that out now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I was too afraid to ask. <laughs> 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 yeah, so that's what it means. Most cuss words are four letters. So when she oh. said, "Are you in love, Darcy?" That is a four-letter word. <laughs> like, oh my-, my mind is blown. <laughs> that's to the witch's just- love is a cuss word. <laughs> I've got an honorable mention. Um, <laughs> Bloom's kicking Icy's booty by Saladin in season one, episode twenty-six. <laughs> oh, it's. I mean, just Saladin, a little old grandpa saying booty is just very funny. I want to meet that man so much. I just hope, I just don't, I know he's not doing things, but it's like, please, can I just remind you what you've done in my life? This is what you've done to me. Thank you. (laughs) (sighs) Amazing. I I think I I have a lot of honorable mentions from Spelled, which is, Mm. I'm good from Flora after she got absolutely (laughs) knocked out from (laughs) Stormy. Which was, isn't that like on one of the, how many deaths like... Laura had <laughs> the videos on YouTube? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Long. Long. Oh, oh my speaking. god. From Ooh, spell. Season three, episode one. Frozen dude. Blink once if you can see us. Yes. 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 Oh. Yeah, that that that's oh. one that lives in there. That was good. Oh. oh, very good. Josh, you had one? Oh yeah, bug off poem head. From Musa. <laughs> <laughs> that is iconic. Oh my god. And just them changing the slap on the face to her like to, oh, manifesting a pimple or uh, a wart yes. on her face. Yeah. Like, I mean that's that's pretty that's pretty creative. What was it? <laughs> they had to draw that too. Like, yeah. yeah. And it was like point. <laughs> <laughs> it was the single most disgusting zit ever. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Stormy. <laughs> Thank you, Stormy. <laughs> um, I've got a Stella quote. Don't worry, almost no one gets lost in between dimensions when they're going through the portal. Almost. So yeah. so convincing. <laughs> like right, but like Bloom's like halfway in. So I know. like she's literally sinking and you hear this and you're just like, oh well, I guess it's too late. I now. guess I'll be like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love that. It's like, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I guess this is fine. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. Well, that does it for our um draft. Thank you all for being here today so so much and taking some time out of your day to discuss some very niche quotes from a very niche dub of a very niche series. <laughs> yes. I do that every day. Yeah. Yeah. It's being recorded. <laughs> yeah. For posterity. Oh, oh yeah. I love it so much. The remind FBI, <laughs> sir. <laughs> remind FBI our person. friends on the internet where they can find you guys on the internet, starting with uh Dane. Um, you can find me on TikTok at just Dane Dane. So, nice, yeah. nice. Uh Natalia? You can find me on Instagram at Nat underscore Y underscore Penna. Nice. And then Josh? You can find me on Instagram at the Winx Chronicles or one word. Okay. And I'm then Nia. You can find me at the Royal Gay Mess at um, on Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter, all the same username. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Thank you guys so much for being here today. <clears throat> and happy 19th anniversary to the four kids dub. <laughs> Go ahead and pass me 20 next year. Oh, wild. Oh, wild. oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode of the Winx Forever podcast, be sure to subscribe on your preferred streaming platform so that you're notified when new episodes are released. Join in on the conversation when you join the Winx Forever podcast discord community. Link to join in the description below.
The theme song for the Winx Forever podcast is the song She Makes Magic by Big Wild. Thank you.